biggest crossover boxing event ever. Live on the Zone pay-per-view, October 14th. Sign up at DAZN.com. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by my good friend, Mr. Hamza Shearer. Mate, good to see you. Um, how's things? All good, Oscar. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Here to announce a massive fight. There you go. Um, and a really good fight. A mouth-watering one on paper, for sure. Um, yeah, I haven't seen you in quite a while. I think I saw you around the Joe Joyce, Gilles Zhang fight week. Um, I guess since then it's just kind of been hard graft and yeah. working away in the gym. No, it was after that I flew to America, got a camp going just to make sure I'm ahead of time and whatnot. And yeah, I'm good. I just flew, flew back yesterday um, just for the press conference. And then after this, I'll go to the airport and fly back and then continue camp, man. I was say, so there's nothing, like, I'm not going to say no distractions because I, I heard you speaking to Dev and I like this. You said there can be good distractions, yeah. kind of social, family and things like that, but no messing about, dip into London, dip out and just straight back in camp. You know, of course, when people talk about distractions, they always automatically think bad distractions. Like I said, there can be good ones, like you said, when you're uh, in your own comforts of your home, um, you kind of, or me anyway, not, I'm not speaking for everyone, I kind of get mentally relaxed and I kind of enjoy myself a bit too much. So, no, it's good to be out in America and grafting and, and, and away and, you know, staying hungry. We talk about home, I guess America must feel a little bit like home now. Slowly, slowly it's getting there. I'm getting a, a few more friends every time I'm going. It's like being at school again. Uh, you make new friends and new people at the gym turn up. But ultimately, it's just about going there and grafting, grafting like crazy. Does it look, or do you look back on the decision that you made to go out there and train with Ricky now and think it was kind of, I'm not going to say a career changer because say you hadn't done it, we don't know where you would be now. You was a young fighter yeah. making a big decision. Yeah. Um, but I guess it's one that you look at with... I guess it's a vindicated decision now because of the success you've had since and you must look at it as, as a massive decision and I guess so far a, a really correct one. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. First, it's, it's almost like it's a bit of a risk. You're spending that much money. You're going out there so far away from home. You've never had a fight with this trainer before. It's kind of like, oh, will it go the way you want it to go or, or whatnot? So it was definitely a risk at the start but me, myself and Ricky, we've gelled like very well, gelled very well, and we've even got uh, little Dennis McCann. He was uh, back in, is with us on on Wednesday. His first session was so. It's good to have him there as well. Yeah, not bad little fighter is Dennis, of course. Not a bad little addition. Um, in terms of this fight with Liam Williams, kind of pre the announcement and everything being signed, T's being crossed, eyes being dotted, etc. What other names were put forward, or what other type of fights were put forward to you as an ex opponent? Because I feel like I hear your name mentioned, especially kind of in the online circles and the boxing circles with just about everyone around yeah, the middle. Right? It's one of them ones, isn't it? It's one of them ones. Uh, but to be fair, there, was no, there wasn't that many names. I thought maybe it'd be the Denzel Bentley fight in December. Obviously, that didn't happen. And then the Liam Williams fight was so easy to make. It's probably the easiest fight that's ever been made in my career. Uh, yes, yeah, it's a credit to him and his team. Um, it was really easy to make. Within 24 hours, it got made. Signed, sealed, delivered, done. That was it. And it was like, we will announce the fight on this date press conference on this date so let's get let's get it cracking something good about two men who just want to sign a fight and actually get in the ring and, yeah. and do the fight yeah now so many people talk nowadays didn't they oh, i want to fight him i want to fight him but listen if you offer me a contract and it makes sense i'm signing it and we're fighting what do you make of liam as a fighter obviously kind of been i say been towards the pinnacle of the sport had three shots at a world title two against liam smith and one with demetrius andre um, so he has kind of been in and around them top circles. Um, I guess he's a fighter that you respect for what he's achieved so far in, in his career. Yeah, of course. It's, I can't really stand here and kind of talk shit on his name because ultimately he's achieved more than me in the sport of boxing. So I can't really... It'd be stupid and foolish of me to start here and getting excited about main event and then start talking shit about him. It's not like it's too, too hard-working, honest men going in there. And making the make it making it happen, as they say, making it happen and putting on a good fight for the fans. I could have easily said no one fought, fought I don't know a, foreign, a foreigner and beat him just to keep my name in the rankings and keep relevant. But it wasn't about that. It was about listen, stepping up and and really um, being involved in these exciting fights. I don't want to say there's a bit of history there, but I know that he said you wasn't on his level. This was a while ago, and you know this is yeah, this would have been while you wasn't on his level, and he was kind of up and around the top of echelons of the sport and you were kind of on the come up. Um, so I guess there's been a little bit of history there, nothing too feisty, but yeah, I suppose we're going to get to see who's on whose level on, on December the 2nd. Exactly, that's what I was saying earlier. I go, well, rather than talking about it, I want to be about it and show, show what I'm about. And I could sit here easily and supposedly sell the fight, do one of them ones, but 
it's not in me. I think if I was to go up there and start talking shit, I'd look like a right bellin. You know what I mean? I'd look like a right knob up there. It's going to have to come one day. There's going to be someone who turns to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, even if it's at like the elite world level and goes, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> but you know, I, I don't know. I think I'll just start laughing. Honestly, I'll just start laughing unless, unless I've had a really bad day. But it's one of them ones. I think that would affect them worse if you laughed back at yeah, their ins. I know. It's, it's, it's like, um, it's, it's, Difficult to say because you don't know how you're going to react until you're put in that situation. I could be putting it in, in a couple of minutes. You know what I mean? So let, let's see how I react. In terms of Liam and what we're going to get on the night, um, I know you'll get a, bit, a few people saying you're going to get a faded version of Liam Williams. Look, there's, there, there's a good fighter in there um, and he's going to be training hard for this fight. But you are going to get kind of the, a washed, a faded fighter that hasn't got the punch resistance, blah, blah. Um, but you know that you're going to kind of get them sort of things said. Of course, that's all rubbish. That's all rubbish. You can't listen to that as a fighter. You can't listen to it because that's when bad things start happening. That's when you start overlooking your opponent and, and whatnot. But it's good he's got listen, plenty of notice. He's got a full camp to get the best version of him. And inshallah, when I do beat him and beat him in good fashion, I'll get the full credit that I deserve for beating Le Liam Williams. Well, see, this is kind of... I don't want to say the man to step over on the way to world level. I guess that's kind of got how how you've got to look at it yeah. um, on your route to world level I just kind of want to know your assessment of what you've got at the top at the moment because I spoke to Denzel yesterday and he said that it's kind of a bit of a shambles at the top at middleweight at the moment it is a bit all over the place it's a bit all over the place you don't know what's happening with certain um, organisations and whatnot. and um, yeah you don't really know what happens but ultimately I'm not I don't really don't really care about that at the minute don't really care about it at the minute I've got a December the 2nd to, to focus on and then I can concentrate on that or, or whatever comes my way I think if I was to stand here and give you an ideal plan, it'd be wrong with me because I know really and truly it wouldn't happen. But um, is that because Jamal doesn't fight? You don't know what, his, what I mean. He's had a belt for two years. He ain't even defended it. So it's a bit like you said. It is a bit all over the place. But uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it all pans out. Within the next two years, you'll see who the top dog is in, in or the top dogs in the division. So you can't keep. I mentioned his name. You can't keep yours and Denzel's name away from each other. Um, you said it to Frank yesterday. His eyes light up and. We look at a fight that's going to be an absolute banger when it does come, um, and a massive fight in this country. No, for sure, for sure. But we both got to win our fights for that fight to become a reality. And um, I'm sure uh, if and when it does happen, it'll be be a great fight. But I'm not overlooking Liam Williams, and I got a job to do on December the second. Statement job to do on December second. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to just go in there and airy fairy box twelve rounds and show my skill and. That's it. Oh yeah, I'm just sure as one. I mean, it may it may well go like that. I wouldn't want it to go like that. In an ideal world, I want to go 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 in there and have a firefight with him.